Hello, <coughs> Mr. Nygren here. Welcome to the Baldur's Gate mod for Diablo 2, Lord of Destruction. Alright, so this is another older mod that I have never played before. I tried if, uh, to create a character and like checked it out, but I hardly did anything. Probably killed one monster, maybe. Anyway, it's based on Baldur's Gate. <coughs> Baldur's Gate uh, was a series of games. There are three games in the Baldur's Gate series. And it's in itself based on uh, the world of Faerun, Forgotten Realms, uh, which is the world uh, of Dungeons and Dragons. Alright, so we'll uh, start the game. Uh, so I had played uh, as an archer previously, or created an archer, I hardly played her level 1 at all. Uh, Edna on Amazon uh, in the original game, she's an archer here. We'll create a new character, <coughs> select hero class. We have the archer, even as the archer's skill with the bow is unparalleled, her proficiency with uh, trusting weapons uh, make her a deadly opponent at any range. Then we have the boot hunter, <coughs> a dash of poison, a swish of a blade, a yarring kick, closing jaws, a vicious trap, fading mage images. Last memories of those who choose to um, parlay with the shadow teeth. Right, the color. <coughs> Master in the art of summoning and proficient in the manipulation of various elements, the conjurer is one who can hold his own ground in combat. <coughs> Berserker! <coughs> Well versed in the mastery of many different weapons and fighting styles, the Berserker is a warrior forged by his countless battles. Cavalier. He has devoted his life to the annihilation of all that is evil. Uh, even the darkest of demons crumbles in the presence of a Cavalier. Shapeshifter, able to morph into a mighty werewolf, summon fort ally, uh, summon fort all manner of wild beasts. Shapeshifter is really a deadly force of nature, so the name has been changed, but I think the text is the same as in the vanilla game. Sorceress, <coughs> no words can describe the fury of a sorceress in battle. She is undisputed in Elemental magics, fire, lighting, and ice. And because this is Baldur's Gate, I think you will place the sorcerers. You have a lot of powerful wizards and sorceresses and such. <coughs> they are like the main leaders or the most powerful beings in their world. So, so yeah, we will go for the sorcerers. A uh, sorceress can pick expansion character here, but not hardcore. It would seem. I wonder if they are hardcore by default or not. If they are. That means that when the character dies, she will be dead forever and you can't get her back. Uh, we do not have the option of hardcore, so maybe they are hardcore fr from default. If they die, I don't know. Uh, okay, so... <coughs> uh, let's see... Just name her something based on ancient Egypt Cleopatra okay we, we will imagine she's not an Indian girl she's a a Mulherandi sorceress the empire of Mulherand all right let's start the game we have a new loading screen a new life good day UI art <coughs> Entire UI is changed to fit Baldur's Gate, Dungeons and Dragons, Forgotten Realms. I believe Faerun is the continent of uh, Forgotten Realms, and Forgotten Realms is the world in which uh, Dungeons and Dragons is set in, and Baldur's Gate is one of the nations of Faerun. Uh, and uh, there are three games based on Baldur's Gate, or set in Bal Baldur's Gate. We have an entirely new. <coughs> You guys, we start with 1600 guild. 
Right, we have a knife. We do not have any voice anymore. Greet a stranger, I'm not surprised to see you carry it. It's the same as in the vanilla game. Options, sound, audio and text, so the, the sound is removed. Okay, uh, video options. You can play like this. We could play. Zoomed in. I always prefer zoomed in. You can also, of course, play without perspective. The normal way. Or with perspective on. Alright, new stats. Stat points remaining. We have 60 stat points at the start. Impressive. Alright, so we get to pick all the stats. So our sorceress, we want a lot of intelligence. We want other stuff too. Let's see here, we will go for 10 strings. And uh, intelligence 10. Constitution 10. And uh, it's dirty ten. <coughs> All right, and uh, then we'll go five intelligence, two constitution, two strength, and dexterity. New skill: so cold magics, lightning magics, and fire magics, just like in the original. We have only one skill point. Kind of prefer fire. <coughs> okay. If we start down here. In, in, in the vanilla game, you always start up here. Here we start at the bottom instead. So we can, get, can get choose fireball, um, lightning, or. Uh, can't pick the cold magics. Okay, we'll go for the fireball. I've never played this before. I only started it and took a look at it. But I think the new UI is refreshing. It's nice to have something new. Looks completely different from the vanilla UI. That and the skill tree. Have the map. Right, message log. Quest log. Game menu. Right. Evil <coughs> beware. Maybe we should speak to some people in the town. So we'll go back. Alright, we got the quest. Then if we will look for the den in the wilderness beyond the blood moors. We still have the vanilla quests. Alright, we have no voice, so we won't pay any attention to the story. So we will do the quests. Right, we'll move out and kill some monsters, and then we'll do the Den of Evil quest. See if this is any different from the vanil vanilla game. In terms of enemies and battles and stats and bosses and such. <coughs> You're pretty strong. Yeah, compared to the middle art mod that I played just before this one, I believe that we are much stronger in the early game. We also got uh, a lot more s stat points in the beginning. We are much weaker in the other game, in the other mod. I mean, we are level 1. Got to do more decisions here to start. <laughs>
<coughs> but the characters look like vanilla characters and uh, enemies look vanilla as of yet. Areas are named the same. These are new. These are giant monsters. Will bear. They are new. They are enlarged vanilla monsters. I believe the monsters existed in the vanilla game, but they were much smaller there. They are larger versions of two smaller guys. They are new for the mod. Will bears. Gates, I guess we can call it Baldur's Gate. Alright, uh, let's see. We'll buy some potions. Four thousand. Uh, we'll buy some mana potions. Areas. Uh, let's see, Rogue Camp and Cold Plains, Stony Field, Dark Wood, Black Mars, Outer Cloister, Inner Cloister, Desecrated Ruins, Desecrated Outer Sanctum. These two have new names. The others have the old names. Yes. And the items are completely new. The, the art of the items, at least, completely new. Never seen this before. All the to the art of the stuff here is new. This is refreshing. They have new art, a new loading picks, and new menus. A <laughs> knife suck. Need a better weapon for sure. Powerful with the fire beam. Never against the man of the years. Alright, some gold, other stuff. Demon spirit defense 156. Right, no idea what it does, it's a new item. The boss will kill it. Minor boss. Another one. Not enough mana. 
one. The Vizier's blood. Not, I don't know what it does. Right. Maybe it's a quest item. We'll see later. Champion will be able to kill it. champions than in the vanilla game. They do not spawn a lot of good stuff. Stats. Okay, constitution. Be good. And uh, could also pick the lightning attack. And, uh, I believe the attacks are vanilla, but uh, the picture, the the. You wait for them. It's nice that it has some new enemies. It's not everything is vanilla. quickly Yeah, the gaping maw from which death rears its ugly head. It's just a head, a gaping maw from which death rears its ugly head and spoos forth. What? And spoos forth the sense of the lower planes.
left for the hundred. That minor boss too, the minor boss is here, we aren't that difficult. If we aren't as OP as in the other mod, in the middle earth mod. Yeah, they one shot at me in the beginning of the game at least. To use the replenishment swalk so we will we'll replenish our stamina. Much more easy. You got a better start. You are a bit more powerful in the beginning. Compared to them in the middle earth mode. It was really difficult in the beginning. You were super weak. Mana. I need mana. Got out of potions. We leveled up. Perfect. Warhead. Need to identify it. Alright. Inventory is bigger than in the vanilla game. Which is good. Here is the here is a cave, the underground passage. Might be the cave we are looking for. Or it's the wrong cave, I don't know. Mana research shrine. So we'll take it. Heal ourselves. We are hurt yeah. Here, all right, back to the settlement. All right, Let's buy some new potions. Identify. We can keep that. Quiet level 200. Demon Spirit of Vert. 16% chance to cast level 3. Confuse and attack. One minimum damage. All resistance is 36. But we need level 200. So we can level up to 200. In, in the vanilla game, you can only become level 99, I believe, or 100. I think it was 99. But in this mod, you can go to level 200, which is pretty cool. Buckler, let's go for it. Let's sell that. Sell value 2000. Fissier's blood. Might sell it. First, yes. we'll check with others. We'll deposit the money. Good evening. 
Good evening. Repair everything. We need to repair. We could also buy stuff here. But I don't know. Better to move out and such a thing. Uh, let's see here. Can't can't get an of this yet. level 4 we don't want to spend any more points on stuff we've already picked All right do want some mana potions and uh, turn portal scrolls Right, let's go to that cave and do the quest. We will need to kill us. these monsters first. And another monster down here. Might still be around. Oh, we have some bigger ones too. Underground passage. This place is trouble. Yeah, this is the the cave. They seem to have a lot of smaller <laughs> minor bosses here. <laughs> they are in that deep hole. I need mana. Not enough mana. Right. I need that mana. This mod is more difficult than the vanilla game because of all the minor bosses. But I think we still thought the, the other mod, the middle earth mod, was more difficult in the beginning. Okay. Store some mana essence of the spheres. No idea what it does. But we need. Uh, Oh, the teleporters look different. Yeah. Cool. Yes. Okay, then we need to buy more potions. Right. And then go back. Down to ten, two to six. We'll try to use the electric attack. Penetrate enemies. Please do a deer instead. <laughs> These are vanilla monsters, but they are not supposed to be in this area. Very good. 
good in melee. Her magic attack is strong, pretty powerful. Yeah, this mode has interesting changes. Gives it a new experience, despite having the old quests. Good day. Sell it. One to four, zero to three. Sell that one to him. That one. Keep this one around. It need more strength, so use it. Alright, we'll sell this, I think. To get some money. Armor. Sixteen, ten, two, nine. All right. Six, eight. Let's go for the sheep one. Four hundred. Ninety-seven. That one. Intelligence. 
boots. I didn't know. Got these done. of the pool. Is of the berserk. Right, a new look. Good day. Trade. Seven. Defense. For that one instead. Rara. Sphere of magic. Keep an inventor to gain a bonus. 6% faster cast rate. Regenerate mana at 13%. Oh, we have a ring. Run to maximum damage. Okay. Can be inserted into socketed item. Cell value, 10,000. That's 156. Maybe it's better to sell this. To get a lot of money. Don't know which one. Stuff the apprentice. Short stuff the bat. 50% damage to undead. 4% mana stolen per hit. 10% first cast rate. Okay. of the bat. Lifestone per hit. Three. Okay. Go for a staff.
sorceress should have a staff. <coughs> we'll deposit the money to the chest. Now we'll go back to the cave. Better than the knife, at least. And it hit. Yeah, bad at hitting. Finish our stamina by walking. Alright. Skeleton body, that's new for the mode. I need mana.
Uh, this is best against many enemies. Identify before we can get the new stuff or use the new stuff. I mean, got a fire crystal. Good evening. Alright, let's get some new ones. Let's use this to raise a bow, let's sell it. Sell that Four, six, this is better. These bats, black rappers. Used later. Right. Need to kill those girls. Corrupted. So. I need more. Minor bosses here. All right. Need to defeat. Strike, nice. A new 
spell. Uh, let's see. Ha enchants, melee, or ranged weapons with fire. Okay, it's a passive one. Move there by foot. Planetary stamina. Wait a bit. Skeleton. I need mana. Oh, I clicked the wrong potion there. Good day. Good. Right. Bolt head. Sell that to him. <coughs> Six ma maximum stamina. Thirty percent extra gold for monsters. Use it. Demon Spirit of Lightning, acquire level 200. 6% chance cost level 1 lightning on, stri on the striking. Okay, we'll just sell it. And get money. It's a long time until we reach level 200 fire crystal, sell value 1600, we'll sell it. Spears. I do what those things do. It does. Need a higher level to use this. Okay, two intelligence.
you need. Repair. Start forty one before we can use the enchanted knife. Ice Blast will be able to use that now. Damage 7, cool damage up to 10, up to 6. Okay. Thought we had repaired. Can't repair this. At least get rid of it. Let's go to, to this guy. Yes. Gear. Try to use the ice. Do that freeze the enemies in their places. Even the bosses can be frozen. And that's really good. Yeah. I need mana. Alright, so we will uh, find the rest of the enemies. Oh, we can stop them from moving in here. I need mana. Not enough mana. All right. So a lot of enemies here. Many more than in the vanilla game. I need mana.
I need mine. Not in the box. Not enough mana. We had no more mana potions, we needed to go back. The order welcomes you. Get new ones. Need Good to go day. back. Right, let's sell that too. Uh, 
dann. Gut, geworden. Ich bin Moran, ich bin hier. This mode was more difficult than the mid alert mode. After a while, it was easier in the beginning, but certainly more difficult after a while. Just with many more minor bosses all over the place. Right. It's much more difficult in the cave. The order welcomes you. And in the other mode. There. Not 
Which isn't good in this place. Not enough mana. Portal. I forgot to buy one. Too bad. That's not good. We need to retreat. I need mana. So you have no mana. Very bad. You always need ton portals. Back to the town. Can walk to replenish our stamina. Oh, we had one man. Cave was much more difficult. This mod has a lot of minor bosses. Stay here and replenish our stamina. We don't want to have low stamina when we face all those enemies. Right. Kill this 
So we'll go warrior. No potions left. Replenish the stamina a bit. Come over here and kill the monsters here. I need mana. 
Fight those guys. Too many. I do not have enough healing potions for that. Good, we need to flee in case they're hunting us there. Good day. Healing potions. The den and wilderness beyond Bloodmore. Okay, so that might be the wrong cave. I need to look a bit further before entering the cave again. Uh, these are no match anymore. Feel refreshed. Can one shot these guys now. You're at level five, I believe. And I recharge, Ryan. Use it. run. Maybe it's supposed to be around here. Just ahead, a gaping more from which everyone is in there. It should be a vape point or something. Feel more skillful. Alright, so the enemies here are quite easy. Maybe we shouldn't attend that. 
there's the waypoint. The cold plains. Not enough mana. I need mana. I need mana. Right, okay, a poison. Not enough mana. I need mana. That way, send it that. Sorceress only, three to seven. Right, material cannot be repaired when a sixth damage to undead. Place the waypoint. Right. Not enough mana. Another cave. Entrance to the den. That might be the correct one. Look for the den. Yeah, this is the right one. 
We were in the wrong one previously. Ah, they were easy to kill. Good. In the other place it was kind of difficult. game, the, the um, this cave is supposed to be where the other cave was, and uh, instead the, the cave where I was previously is supposed to be in the later game, in the underground passage, when we're about to go to the area with the tree. I need mana. Not enough money. Right. Ah! This will be much easier. You're under leveled in the other area. Right, so gold crow. One thing I don't like is that the sound is much louder here. All right, we'll try this. Not enough mana. Kill Gold Crow. Gold Crow, actually, not Gold, but Gold. I need mana. Kill every single monster in this cave. Complete the quest. So 
sound was a bit too loud previously. A bit too walk. Replenish our stamina. Skeleton. Horse is not. Not enough mana. Kill one of them. Another one. Good. Get down. I am overburdened. Mana. But there is not the idea. I think this mod was more impressive in terms of challenge. In the beginning I thought the other one was more challenging, but this one is the more interesting mod, I think. It's a unique uh, balance, I think. It uh, feels more unique to play this one. Way more minor bosses and stuff. Right. Need to make sure that everyone is dead here. Yeah. The mission is to kill everyone in the cave. Champion zombie could have been that boss. Return to the camp. So out of potions again. The order welcomes you. 
Okay. So identify 14, 16, poison resists 5%. Target is damage of 1, 1 to light, radius and 200 centimeter. Mm. Leather armor. Mm. I think this one is better. So sell that. That the other one cost to do uh, cost way more. Yeah. Uh, uh. Save this for the rogue. One to five. One to shilling armor sources only, one to flame strike sources only. 60 damage to undead. Right. I can't use, use this yet. Level 7, okay. Energy to to intelligence. Okay, I think we'll use this instead. Alright, we need to check that item too. Chaos 
Bang! Kill her. Alright. Not enough mana. Alright. Yeah, I would say I'm more impressed with this. Changes, in my opinion. Then of evil is over there. We want to kill everyone here first. Kill all the monsters in the den, now we are in the right place. The quest. here. Also, a place you need to go through to get to another quest. So, I guess the point is that they don't want it to be the same experience. They move around certain areas, locations.
enough mana. I need mana. Not enough mana. I need mana. They're almost on a level. I <sighs> almost level up. Damage salad. And to know sorceries on the level ten is required. Right, sell that one. Demon Spirit of Static Field, 6% chance cost, level 1 static field on striking, 16% chance cost, level 3 confuse, fire resist, cold resist, lightning resist, poison resist. We need level 200. At least get rid of it. Let's do dexterity. Here, repair. Don't know why we are still broke. Okay. But I just repaired it. Maybe it can't be repaired.
deposit all this money. You're pretty rich, sixty thousand. Seven, you're level six now. Right. Kill these ordinary monsters. Zombies and corrupted rogues and what, what else? them. down here. Check for more enemies. First log. Only five enemies remaining for us to beat the first four. Portal. 
Time to cast the reward. Purged of evil. Okay, good. First quest is completed. I like that they moved around and stuff. So that it's kind of a new experience to some degree. Now we got the second mission. Look for Blood Raven in the burial grounds next to the coal plant. They moved around her probably to uh, deposit the money. Uh, we can't have more than 60,000 in the chest. Too bad. The order welcomes you. Alright, we will sell this. Here, let's return out of the cave to go back to where we came from. Kill any remaining monsters here. Yeah, there are some monsters still alive. Kill them. Enemies are still mostly vanilla, but there are a lot of uh, non-vanilla minor bosses. But the normal enemies otherwise look vanilla. The, the, mood, uh, the sprites look uh, like vanilla monsters, but there are many more uh, minor bosses in this mod than in the vanilla game. It was actually kind of difficult. In the other cave... I need to use magic on these play meters. They, they take a lot of health. Uh, yeah, they, they have a lot of health otherwise against this.
need mana. Takes more damage than I do physical attacks. This guy moves without the jagged. These guys are more weak against uh, weaker against uh, ranged attack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Too many bosses in this one. No other bosses. I need mana. Not enough mana. I need mana. Oh, here is the is dark magic at work here. burial grounds. So don't want to go there yet. We have no po town portal and they're almost out of um, healing potions. And they are out of mana potions. So we have one mana potion. Look for 
put a V point here. Attacks are the same as in vanilla, but they have a different looking skill tree and a different looking UI. The, the attacks themselves, I think, are the same. Maybe they have some custom sprites, I don't know. Or it's the vanilla. Replenish our stamina. again. Pay attention to my health, but yeah. This mod also has many more enemies. Uh, 
competitive in the game and competitive. Yeah, maximum number is. Individual units felt more different in the other mode, in the middle earth mode. But uh, this one has so many minor bosses and they are actually quite difficult. Stamina again. Shamans. I need mana. Too many enemies in this mod. Takes forever to defeat all of them. Not enough mana. Skillful. Right.
Herren. More health potions. Rating. That's on light radius. Let's sell it. Maximum damage. Let's sell it. Give it to mana. Four and six to the maximum damage. One to maximum damage. Okay. Right, couldn't move in anymore. Money. The chest in this mode. Believe in the vanilla game. There is no limit. Or at least it's much higher than sixty thousand. Believe it's a million or something. there <laughs> kill these evil rats I want to level up before I can die please might finish that cave too. Not certain we will do it. But we will certainly, certainly level up. down here. This is another area. Stone field. We'll go back. Let's walk. Skillful. Another boss. Already won. Think we'll try to take 
out Blood Raven. I played an Ariel mod, I played the uh, vanilla game, the original game, just with an Amazon with the uh, Ariel skill tree and loot. These were a difficult to kill. Go straight for Blood Raven. Try. This is a lot of hell. Not enough mana. The fuck? Again. Oh, I had almost won that, but that guy that showed up one shot at me for some reason. Oh, a lot of enemies there. I 
picked up all the money too. Good. That guy is dangerous. No plans of joining. Yes. Almost leveled up now. Was need town portals. <laughs> I 
flame strike. Champion, we leveled up. I need mana. Fast log. Hard cash. From two to five. From two to four. Good use. Eleven.
we're done now. We'll end here. Thank you for watching. This was the Baldur's Gate mod. Baldur's Gate. You can see we have a level 7 sorceress, Cleopatra. In my mind she is uh, a uh, all around the sorceress. Alright. Thank you for watching and my my uh, opinion is that uh, the, the middle earth mode was more difficult in the very beginning but this one was way more difficult uh, just a little bit into the game <laughs> due to all the minor mo uh, bosses in this mod many many more enemies it's also more fun that they have moved around stuff so you don't uh, find things as easily they moved uh, around the den of evil and other um, like the underground passage was placed in a different location and such and, and that makes the game a little bit different and uh, I like that they have a lot of uh, new enemies the other mod had uh, summons as enemies, wolves and bears that was also pretty cool but, but I, I, I think I prefer this one it felt more uh, like uh, new, more fresh but both of them felt different from the vanilla game of course Okay, thank you for watching, and uh, the Ontario mod is essentially the vanilla game used with Ontario as a playable character. Alright, thank you for watching, bye.